been trying that out. Um, John has a Mii Sword Fighter specifically for projectile players, but if Jen goes over to Palutena, I wonder if he'll see the switch to Mii Sword Fighter. Ooh, the aggressive, uh, what's it, coming out right away, the roller. Yes. And John's home stage. I wonder if Jen agreed to this. So, interesting thing about this stage, uh, it changes between night and day depending on what music tracks you have. That was unique until... Oh. Uh, until uh, Mementos, which changes no. its color scheme. Oh, based on yeah, the music. yeah. Oh, I thought... <laughs> I, w I wasn't thinking of the color. I was thinking of, wait, Mementos was a night and day? Uh, okay, single parry on that one. Very nice. Gets Ooh, a, a jab change. reset. Mm -hmm. Good way of racking up damage, which he needs to do after John's dominant stock taking. Absolutely. Um, he is... Oh, no, he has his jump. No, oh, but still not enough. Again. Shoot. That, More speaking like of... stock <laughs> trader 69. <laughs> I know speaking... this is Jen in numbers. <laughs> speaking of... Uh... Stock taking 8.1% is not great to keep on the board this far on. All right, trying to play off the ledge. Doesn't get down smashed here, but very interesting close to how him. John trusts Jen to be able to deal with the uh, neutral B off ledge, and so he's not doing it. E. All right, good parry. Follow up and sharking on the platforms. Nice use of ambiguous dash dance animations. All right, bomb. That forward air stage. angle. All right, that, that is air. it. No, he's no, still back. He's still back. Oh my goodness! All right, that was really smart of John there. Uh, keeps it down and stays shielded to stay out of the setup. Nice use of the grenade to hide his down smash animation and make it harder to punish. Mm -hmm. All right, air dodge is back. Almost get text chase right there, but it seemed like Jen didn't press a button when he wanted to. Covers with jab off of that because Nair, even when it's parried, is still fairly that down safe. smash catching the jump two frames. Mm -hmm. That and was that out of a uh, dash too. That's hard to time. Yeah, down smash out of dash is tricky. All right. Jen burning his jumps. John yep. trying to play it a little tricky at the mid range here, but it's a little difficult against Fox because I feel like he has better zone closing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting thing that right at the top of the stock was John running out the iframes mm -hmm. uh, with his ledge play. Mm. Ooh, nice use of up air to kind of dissuade Jen from coming in with a nair. All right. Oh. You see, That's John went for the neutral B from edge, and Jen was ready for it. Mm -hmm. See, so that looked like John had the angle too high to start out with, uh, and he got out of that with enough time to uh, hit, which is interesting. I would have thought he would have gotten re-hit. It but, is interesting. Uh, he actually had the roll read there, it but could he could be a fastball thing with, J with Fox. It may be, honestly. Fox falls so fast, a lot of combos oh, that nice should smash. work. Maybe if Johnny oh, gone for a forward smash, not charged this hard. That was really okay. So that was really smart there. Um, usually, if you do inkling nair uh, as a cross up, like you just go over someone with their shield, it's very hard to punish. Jen shield drop up tilt to punish it. So he is well familiar with how to deal with that. And that's a really strong tool for Inkling's close game. So the less of those that he has against Fox, who dominates in these sorts of oh, scenarios. Oh, the fair spike. Looking like Smash 4 for a second. All right. Easy, gets the grab. Obviously, John is looking for his roller. He just pulled his, uh, what's it back up? His ink. Mm -hmm. And scary situation. Avoids both the bears. Oh, the shield footstool. Always a good trick for mixing up on people. Especially if it's your first jump. All right. Looks like he was really counting on. Oh, uh, there's that uh, up that neutral beat from ledge again, keeping the zone out, racking up. Uh, especially since that stray hits can finish off Fox if he's got ink on him. Uh, not gonna kill even though Fox is quite the nice light boy. Nice use of side B out in the zone where uh, Inkling couldn't have uh, punished for it. Did you see how close? That so so here's the thing, right? They were both very much at death percent, which is oh, fair. Oh, for sure, for sure, for sure. Um, but did you see how close John was going in and out with that roller right above the Fox up smash? Oh, it's uh, outrageous! And jump out of it. Look at how closely, because he needs to fish for these kill options. Fox will get him first, but look at how he's dancing away and putting the hitboxes out. John's ability to move and manipulate his character's hurt boxes is legendary. All right, going back. Once Still more. nighttime. So the funny thing is that when this had originally been picked, I was like, oh, this is definitely a numbers pick. Numbers loves this stage. But now we see uh, the counter pick from Jen returning to Moray Towers. Which well, I think Battlefield is. Moray Towers. Battlefield Moray Towers. <laughs> All right, good chase. 
All right, that's a clean punish right when there. Your counter picks. No, don't have it. I'll come up with it later. Okay. All right. Back airs. Ah, uh, good call on that one. Not a high enough percent to where uh, he can't tech against the stage, mm, but not a bad maybe call. Maybe John should have looked for a move that wouldn't force tech and try and get an air dodge uh, self gift. That's unfortunate. The Tim's coming out for Jet. <laughs> That's how you know he's house. See, sometimes you play a little too complicated when you just got to play it simple. Why, why get all this fancy movement out when you can just hold roller? Three hit rate, baby. <laughs> No, but even more than that is sometimes when you get that movement going, you're like, oh, I got to get off the ledge. I got to be reverse. I got to run off back air, this, that, whatever. Sometimes you just stand still and you catch an opportunity. Jen's confidence with his Firefox angles is so admirable because <laughs> going low with Fox can be so scary. Absolutely. Especially uh, with a character like Inkling who has a little bit of disjoints, a little bit of projectile, a little bit of multi-hit, just like everything that characters with bad recoveries don't want to deal What's with. What's happening a lot here is Jen is blocking or even parrying Roller and still not having a good answer for John's next move. So part of the issue with that is that when you get hit by a roller, uh, it can be jump canceled yes. right away. It's technically a punish, um, but depending on when you get hit by roller as opposed to when Jen sends it, or not Jen, uh, Numbers sends it out, determines where Numbers will be able to jump cancel out oh, of Oh, of course, of course, of course. So the punish is something you have to be super aware of to get. And even then, sometimes it's just better to sit and shield, wait, you never know. All right, this damage tracking. Burns his jump. All right, playing mid. Oh, <laughs> the smashes working on each other. Very close. Whammy. Yep. Give me a little bit of woomy, man. I don't want to eat that up there. All right. Back on stage, John with the control here. Doesn't see a punish on the jab. Most jabs in this game on shield uh, can be punished on reaction, even if they're not taking a rapid jab completion. But it is a mix-up. Interesting trade. Jen gonna have to play very carefully if he doesn't want to get got. Or he can do that. He can't let opportunities go. That's, That's the thing. That's true. Ox has. Uh, Ox. <laughs> Ox. Fox has the ability, uh, better than most characters in the cast, to capitalize on mistakes with the movement speed, the kill power, the combo potential, etc. So while he does want to play careful when he's behind like this, he does not want to give up his aggression because eventually John will win the War of Attrition. He has the better uh, mid-range out of the two. And the better mentality for it. Let's be real. That's what gets John where he needs to be, his willingness to play the long game. Mm -hmm. uh, that could be bad. I don't know. No punish off. That goes for a safe jab, which is fair. Tries to go for Back the hard the punishing up the up smash win. That's so strange because uh, I could have sworn that that was the end lag, but he still gets a punish on that. Difficult spot to be in. He basically had to make a call and guess on the timing. It's so interesting how the um, three second smash charge mm -hmm. instead of one second. In is this it three? So what it was is in previous smash games from Melee on, you could charge your smash up to one second and the damage and therefore knockback and shield pressure would linearly increase mm -hmm. from minimum to maximum. In this game, the first second charges just like that. And then seconds two through three lock in the damage and knockback, but let you hold it. Yes, that's when the animation, the jitter animation stops. That's right. And you just hold, which mm -hmm. I think, personally, is intimidating. Yeah. All oh, animation stops when dude. you freeze. 